Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. Today we have a pretty amazing and unique creation with Atlantis, created by Death Fears Nun, one of our Discord advanced builders and bronze patrons. Thank you so much for your support, Death Fears Nun, and here they say, Hey yo, this is my Greek mythology loosely based off of Atlant Atlantis. This features six roller coasters, three flat rides, Elysia. Queen of Atlantis, Helios, son of Belicia, the sun god, Selene, daughter of Belicia, moon goddess, Mako, Selene, loving pet, Trident, and Hydra. Trident is designed as a Mac power splash. Hydra is the smallest in the park and designed to shoot the rapids when the boats won't sink. Make sure you download this file. And the file takes me to a Facebook error page. I cannot get the file. Bad URL timestamp. Sorry, your file does not work. Make sure to check out the interactive sign of Belizea as the train passes by. You won't want to miss the night lighting. Hope you enjoy this part. Boom, there it is. Uh, really interesting looking creation here. Very vibrant, very playful. Great theming. It's gonna be a fun one. Stay tuned and let's get right on into it. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at Atlantis. Greek mythology based creation with a lot of vibrant colors. Now, if I remember correct, correctly, uh, Death Fears None, you did the Six Flags Park that I reviewed last, as well as a, a contest submission from the Dueling Coaster Contest, Six Flags Great Adventure and Sub-Zero versus Frost. I remember Six Flags Great Adventure having some uh, really good theming and you know, just tying it all together is where your struggles were and pushing that theming to the top. And um, this looks like you took a lot of the feedback from Six Flags Great Adventure and really just hit it home. This must be the interactive sign or image that we're missing, unfortunately, to a bad URL link. But yeah, I mean, nonetheless, missing a sign, not the biggest deal in the world. Everything else is looking great. Um, we have benching, we have fence work, we have theming on all the builds. Skins on our rides. Water effects for the coaster. Beautiful garden work. I mean, everything here looks absolutely superb. What a fun and fantastic creation. You really uh, took the criticism to heart and came back with a very strong creation. Very good. I'm very impressed. Hydra. Let's check this out first. I'm just kind of going in wherever I end up going. We have no rhyme or reason to the order here today. I also like the concept of um, building everything over the water like this. Not only does it match the Atlantis kind of theme, but it reminds me of uh, one of the scenario modes back in RCT, where you had to build uh, everything on a little, little bit of water. Hydra. Whoops, I accidentally put it into close mode. Shouldn't matter too much. There's a look at the stats if you want to see them. It's taking off. Yeah, we'll sit in the seat view. Sit back and enjoy Hydra. Look at that Hydra, by the way. We gotta look at that from another angle after the uh, ride's done. Oh, right there it is. A uh, fun little water ride. Let's take a look at these hydras. The rock work on this is actually impeccable. It is not easy to bend re repeating rocks in such a way that it creates scales like that. And it's just so smooth and dynamic. It doesn't look silly. This is actually really superb work. 
Look at that. That's phenomenal. And once you built one, you duplicated it and added another. I really want to see this at night. It looks like they have lights in their eyes. Mention something about... Ooh, fantastic. Wow. That is remarkable. Amazing job, Death Fears None. I'm in love with this park already. Knocking it out of the park is Death Fears None. Great theming, great colors. Beautiful presentation. Oh, look at this little guy. Maybe Theme Maker Toolkit? Monster Fish. Very cool. Yeah, this lighting's great. Let's let's keep going at night a little bit longer. Ooh. You really exaggerated and amplified the lighting in a way that it works. You know, we're looking at the mythology, the mystery, and the myth. And the lighting kind of uh, almost accentuates that a little bit. The trident. Oh, that's cool. The, the end of the coaster being the trident there, riding right up the trident. There it goes. So we have the Power Splash Track, Cascade Water Coaster Train Swap. How is this a Cascade Water Coaster? It's not showing a train swap, which is kind of confusing to me. We've got launch tires in there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, Trixie, Trixie, Trixie. <laughs> I see what you did. It's not a water cascade. It is a looping shuttle SLV. I knew something was amiss. All right, using the uh, looping shuttle drive tire launch and then decorating it with a cascade water track to create a power splash track. Really cool. That's uh, actually pretty innovative. And you did do some innovative track design and neat combinations back on your Six Flags Park that I was quite a fan of. And uh, I think you're just kind of elevating that and uh, making it a little bit more precise and clean now. Some really good concepts here. Good job. All right, that's very cool. I love it. Uh, maybe the one thing you could do to elevate your theming a little bit more is maybe have some sound effects playing when you get to the top there, some speakers or, you know, a voice. Um, maybe, maybe you get some big water splashes here. You hear the speakers going like Poseidon's angry, some rolling thunder or something. Uh, that could just really take it over the top, I think. Really cool though, nonetheless. Little carousel queue over here. Yeah, really big fan of the lighting. Sometimes when people try this like really crazy gradients and um, you know, you get this crazy, like, Las Vegas vibe to it, but I think it really does work here. It's very magical. Sometimes it can be too powerful and overdone. Sometimes it just looks bedazzling. I'm a fan of it, nonetheless, no matter where you use it and how you use it, as long as you do it well. And, uh, based off the color choices of your track here, and, uh, the way you've, uh, placed the spotlights themselves, it's not looking spotty, it's very clean. It's consistent. It's done really well. I kind of almost want to look at everything during the night because it's so fantastic. However, look at the transition there. It's almost like two different parks. The color, the color palette just completely switches over, and uh, that's a good sign of uh, a, a, a diff creating a different experience through lighting. Really fun. Okay, so we have Belicia, and it's green across the board. There's a look at the stats if you want to see them. 1,400 meters. G-forces are looking great. Five inversions, four airtime counts. Great stuff. Oh, and it's a uh, another drive tire. Uh, we'll sit in the middle seat for this one.
Wow. That is really quite incredible. Let's give it another ride at nighttime in track view so we can appreciate how smooth this track really is. And I do got to say to Death Fears None, I think one of our points of feedback, or I'll say it after this. Wow, I, I think I like that even better in track view at night. That uh, really represents how smooth and fantastic of a layout that you created here. And uh, what I wanted to say before we did that second run is one of the points of feedback that we talked about from your last uh, creation, you had 28 coasters in Six Flags Great Adventure. And you had a lot of really good coaster concepts, a really good, a lot of uh, fun ideas, fun layouts. But because you had so many and you were so ambitious and you were creating so many of them that sometimes, you know, you, you got everything 90% of the way there. And sometimes not, uh, the last 10% is 90% of the work. Just that refinement, getting things smooth, adjusting your layout, adjusting your transitions, getting the, the G-forces just right, the flow of the coaster, the setting and how you theme it and how you place it in, how you work that cue and theming in. It felt like in the previous creation, some of it was left forgotten because you were in such a hurry to do the next one and the next one and the next one. Almost like you're getting so excited to keep creating that you forgot about that last 10% of polish. And I cannot say the same for it here. This is fantastic. It looks beautiful. It rides beautiful. It's stunning work overall. Visually impressive. It has it all. 10 out of 10. I love it. It's super fun. So definitely showing some growth blow not only showing some growth but blowing it out of the water coming forward with some new designs keeping it simple I, I can't remember how many coasters you said are in this one but it's definitely not 28 and with that you were able to focus in on your theming focus in on your track layouts and make sure everything is just perfect and so far everything we've seen so far is really really good so we have Helios Hybrid Steel Topped RMC, green across the board. There's look the stats, 58 miles per hour, 700 meters in length. G-forces are good, few inversions and some airtime. Let's check it out. All right, really good, compact RMC. Tight layout. How does this one look at night? What do we got going on here? Bright yellows and greens. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, wow. Let's keep on moving through. Oh, look at the way you lit up the signs here. I like the theming on all of the um, signs for all your coasters and the fact that you kind of did miniatures at the entrance like that. It's really quite cool. All right, big purple. Let's go. Ooh, again, really nice signs. I think we want to save this one for last. <laughs> and maybe even ride that one twice. But I like 
a good wooden coaster. So I want to do this one, Mako. I, uh, I do want to ride this one a day. Nice little sign there. Okay, well, here we go. We got the wooden gnarler, a classic. Almost a thousand meters in length. Good looking stats. And what about if we look forward? Back of the train. All right, fantastic wooden coaster. Really enjoying how refined and smooth and polished your coaster layouts are. You really took uh, the time to get these layouts just perfect. And it looks like you had a lot of fun with it in the process. Look at that, stunning, absolutely stunning. Okay, and there it is. <laughs> Where are we? Celine. This one, we're definitely going to be checking out at day and night. I love the way it looks at both day and night. Here we go. Hyper Coaster Anubis. What's the highest drop? 80 miles per hour. Biggest drop is 63 miles per hour. All right, there's all the stats there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it a go. Definitely going to want to ride Sea View. We'll do track at night for this monstrosity.
There it is! Wow. Incredible stuff, Death Fears None. Let's talk about it for a sec. I mean, I've already mentioned that I feel from um, Six Flags uh, Great Adventure to this, you're scaling things down. I mean, you're still taking up a lot of space in terms of how you spread it out, but you're giving yourself more tight, compact areas to work with within, and then spending a lot of that time on the polish. And we definitely see that here. Playing with the theming, playing with your layout, getting your path work is a huge improvement. Just the flow of everything, how it branches off. You lead into it, get around the park in a, in a nice manner. Everything just kind of directs you and pushes you through. And it was easy to navigate. And I just see massive, massive improvements. And I love that. I love to see how fast you've grown. Not only how fast you've grown, but how much you've grown. The It's, it's, it's almost as if um, you're a whole new builder. The stuff is incredible. And it just has me excited to see what you do next. And I don't really have any feedback for you, which is great. Now, I mean, I have a suggestion. The only thing, I mean, a suggestion with a little bit of feedback, I'd say. The one thing, because you've scaled things down to a point where, you know, with the mega parks that we see, when you have so many coasters and rides and things running in the background, the game has a hard time. But this is just running beautifully. It, it, it's, it has such a high FPS. So when you, for this is just a, not only a note for Death Fears None, but for anyone else doing parks this size, which are perfect sizes in my opinion. You got a good amount of coasters. We have a good experience. We could ride them multiple times. We have enough time in the episode to explore everything and look at everything and even give um, a few variations of perspectives and both day and night. And that's, that's kind of where I like it. It's perfect. Now the mega parks are good time to time for sure, but um, you know, it's it's tough to take on a project where you're spending over a year on something. Whereas this is, um, it's a good portion. It's a good goal. So once you get it to this size and you, you feel like everything's complete, it would be great just to open up your park to, uh, you know, a thousand guests or so. Have everything running, have everything working, make the, the theme park come to life. And as you let them in, you know, pay attention to the guest am amenities. You know, should we have more shops, um, benches, garbage bins? What, what are they going from to each place? You do have the benches here, but because there's no shops or anything, at least I didn't see any, just some bathrooms and staff facilities. You have the, the janitors in there, you have all the staff. Just open her up, throw a few shops down, and get everybody running around having a good time. Have a small little eating area. Or maybe, do you have one back here? Okay, we do have one back here. Perfect, miss that. Maybe could use a little bit more um, lively signs like you have over here, letting us know, hey, we got a food court over here. Don't miss me. And then just bring it to life. Open her up, let everyone run around this park and have a good time with us in the spotlight. Ooh, I really like this. Uh, what do you call it? Gazebo. It's really pretty. I missed that. Yeah, fantastic artwork. So, I mean, no feedback from me other than opening it up and letting it fly. Letting it... Okay, we have another shop over here. I passed by it. Might have been nighttime when I passed by it. Mm -hmm. So maybe um, some signs for your shops like you've done. I mean, you're making fantastic signs, right? So maybe have one over for your shops as well, just to welcome you in. So yeah, you've actually spaced out your shops in pretty good spots as well. So I can see once this is open, it's going to be quite the bustling theme park. And some back here as well. They're a little bit tucked off, but still really good. All right, well, Death Fear's done. Coming forward with a very fun, unique creation. All on the water is Atlantis. Beautiful colors, beautiful theming really amazing coasters <clears throat> nothing but praise from me what did you guys think leave your comments leave your love down in the comments below for death fears none and that is going to do it for me in today's episode of park spotlight thank you all so much for watching hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you all in the next episode bye now